All right, Shalom, Shalom. Like to say, all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Start the off, Jim S. Boston coming back once again with a quick impromptu. All right, I'm going to say on lieu of. You know the uh, the later or the latter of yesterday's judgment. Now, uh, now people uh, are getting lulled back to sleep once again. He saw Edom uh, appeases Jacob. And they, they go back to sleep with the baby bottle in their mouth every time. All right. When it comes to the, you know, the trial of the cop Chauvin and uh, about GF's uh, murder. All right. And our people have a problem with looking at things with a, a, a spiritual eye. Okay, that the Lord gave them uh, uh, a clear and precise view on their enemies' worst uh, uh, intentions towards them. All right, and He's going to keep on proceeding to give them the view of the worst intentions that. Uh, enemy by nature, okay, which is Esau, Edom, which is a uh, so called white man, all right. His intentions are going to get a lot crueler, all right, because he knows how to uh, put back down. Uh, uh, sleeping dogs so to speak and um this brother i think he's from australia let's finish playing the uh the clip all right of what uh if he's from australia i don't know I don't remember where GMS Austere Man is from. My brother, if you see this video, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh yeah, so he just finished playing the uh racial racial tension building E. Okay, big hurt. And uh unbeknownst to Jake, you know, the warning has been put forth in so many ways than one. By the men of the Lord and by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And, uh, you know, the brother in GMS Vegas, uh, uh, Karatazat, and the elder Yashawamba in, uh, in Texas. All right. They have did, uh, a litany of videos, uh, letting our people know. You know, they had a series called, uh, This Is Your Enemy, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And it's been so many of those videos put out by other brothers as well. But I remember that those those two, uh, Akiyam, started it off. All right. And uh, every other week it was somebody getting shot. Every other week it's somebody getting uh, mistreated. In a devilish way, all right, and uh, you're gonna hear the clear intentions of how the so-called white race, which is the nation of Edom, okay, thinks about Jake, all right. And this is why we say that all of the nation of Edom hates Jacob, which is the nation of Israel. All right.
And it's clear to see. All right. I said, oh, Maxine Waters did a horrible thing, but doesn't affect like you had a fair trial. No, he didn't. Again, I don't even care about this individual person. I do care about him, but, you know, he's in a bad situation. But it's for all of us. This is mob rule. I mean, I mean, look at these idiots. And then eight weeks from now. In fact, if we can get audio on that satellite feed, see if we can. I want to hear this bitch. And that's Alex Jones calling so-called black people, all right, which are, they're, they're very black indeed, okay, because they're void of knowledge. They think they actually achieved some type of great milestone in U.S. history, all right, and uh, it's a disgrace going to Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because the great milestone that should be reached in Babylon the Great is all these people, okay, of the nation of Israel shall turn and uh, uh, face their offenses. But they won't because that's prophecy. And because of that, this is how it's going to play out, man. You saw Edom is just going to come down having great wrath like it says in Revelations 12 and 12. All right, and it's not gonna it's not gonna stop there. It's just gonna go forth, okay. Now you got you got the the <laughs> you got you got all these jakes out here with different color wigs on, and it, it's just a mess. It's messy, okay. And I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures. You know how the Lord wants it to play out, or how He gives them. The uh the inkling to wake out of slumber. All right, let me get a couple of scriptures and then I'm gonna close it out, man. But this is how the so-called white man thinks of his natural-born enemy, which is Jacob, who is your forefather. Okay, this is how he thinks of him. You know, we got the white devil. Meanwhile, they've cut out the police in Minneapolis. The crime rates doubled or trebled, and they've hired their own private security. Sorry, Pat, I interrupted you. No, you're fine. I, well, then that's the goal. It's because they don't want police to exist in their traditional form. They want to replace them with these people. These people will be given badges and guns and called social workers, and they will be in charge of the law. Oh, they're just crying. It's such a victory over the evil country they're all fighting to get into. Right. And, and again, have you ever seen people... <laughs> you know... And he said a mouthful right there. It's a, it's a, let's rewind it back. And again, have you ever seen people that this happy because a man, his life is going to be ruined. That just shows I obviously, right. And, and again, have you ever seen people that this happy because a man is crying? It's such a victory over the evil country. They're all fighting to get. They're crying for such an evil country that they're trying to get into. Now, he's talking about the the northern kingdom, okay? Because that's not finished. That thing that happened up there in Chicago, all right, that's about to be the next bout, okay? Esau Edom has lost his grip on his, on his nation. On his kingdom, I should say. Right? And uh, these two bozos, all right? Alex Jones being the main uh, 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 agitator, okay? On this man's uh, show, Owen Schroner, or Schroyer, okay? It's letting the cat out of the bag, man. If Jake don't see this right here, and figure out the game plan of Esau, Edom, and Biden, and you know what I'm saying? All these people are conjoined together against our nation, okay? And it's, it's, like I said, man, the, the heat is about to get turned up. Things are uh, uh, progressing wonderfully to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? But this is how they think. They think that they're still the greatest nation. They think that uh, the northern kingdom is breaking their way in here because they want to, you know, 
uh, 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 live on easy street. He's the one that said. Right. And, and again, have you ever seen people that this happy because a man, his life is going to be ruined. That just shows I obviously very low IQ people, very uninformed people, totally brainwashed by everything that they. How do you know that some of those people in that crowd, they could be doctors, they could be lawyers. They can be civil engineers. You see? This is how he looks at us. Uh, Malcolm X said, you can be anything in the world. Right with your little college piece of paper. But at the end of the day, you still just a N-I-G-G-A. That's it. To these people. And he said it himself. You cannot. You cannot trust your enemy, man. And our people are about to find out the hard way. All right? It's coming down the pipe. All right? Been shown by the mainstream media. Everything that they've been told about this trial, everything that they've been told this by Joe Biden. Left, this large yes has literally domesticated everybody, dumbed them down, put them on welfare, and they need an outside threat while the globalists destroy them. Right. So it's the cop that ran around cleaning up after them, like he does after homeless all day and drug addicts all day and murderers all day. And then now the cops are just pulling back, so the crime rates double, triple these neighborhoods, and everybody's just killing each other. You very- see, and that's how they think. They're doing us a favor, okay, by killing us, by uh, keeping us segregated from, you know, the other part of the the, uh, states that we live in. They put us in our pens, so to speak, which are the ghettos, all right? And that's what the true form of the police officer is, to make sure that you don't get out of your place, Okay. And your place is the hood with the other Negroes, okay? And the moment you get out of line is when they crack you over your head or put you to death, okay? Let's get that, all right? Let's get that, uh, Salaki. Phone's acting crazy. They brainwashed by everything that they've been shown. This is Isaiah 10 and 5. Let's just go there. First thing I'm going to read. All right, this is Isaiah 10 and 5. It says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation, and against the people of my wrath will I give him charge to take the spoil, to take the prey, and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. All right, so Esau's coming, man. All right, you know why he's coming? Because y'all didn't adhere to Isaiah. I want to say 31. thirty-one. Isaiah thirty-one. It says, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many." And their horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, their power. Okay. Right? When you go back to uh, Isaiah, the 30th chapter, it says, Woe to the rebellious children. And this is, this is to Jake, man. Y'all out there uh, 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 <coughs> marching around and, and cheering because... Satan, you know, put a little spell over you again. You know, the scriptures say Satan can't cast out Satan. This this guy, Derek Chauvin, he might get out. He might get out because of what uh, a Negro woman said. And that's another thing, too. The Negro woman speaking on the news and not having anything to say, all right, needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. That's neither here nor there. You know, that's that's something that the Lord is doing because he he's trying to uh, uh, agitate 
the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, I'm going to read this Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right? Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right? And this is what it's going to boil you down to. They already got uh, half of the people that's made with these uh, these jabs. All right? A lot, of, a lot of elderly people have took these jabs. A lot of uh, women have took these jabs because they want to live their best life. They want to go jet-setting around the world. Okay? A lot of uh, Negroes... The male persuasion, all right, so-called male persuasion, let's say it like that, you know, they have uh, gone out and taken a jab too because of their wives or, you know, their girlfriends or because they want to, you know, jet set to the places where these uh, these women flock to, okay? So the Lord's getting ready to, to put the, the whole cap on this thing, man, all right? It ended here, all right? Any day now, you know, Lord's will. That's why we hasten the day. But these these, these things are not, uh, they're not conducive, all right, for for the result that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is looking for. He's looking for the result of calling out to him. He's looking for the result of you turning away from this this system, this way, okay, and coming back to him and letting him uh, uh, fight for you as you fight for him, okay? So everybody that was in that crowd that Alex Jones was talking about, you know, the Lord, he's going to have mercy on whom he's going to have mercy. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But he's tired tired of the the, the folly in America, man. He's tired of it. You know? And you, Jake, should be tired of it too, man. You know? And we know that it's reaching the hope for the lack, man. We know that. We know that this message is, is coming through loud and clear to the hope for the lack. That, uh, you know, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That it's time to, to get plucked out of this place. All right? I don't want to say much, man, but yeah, man, that's just my thoughts. And, you know, the the Maccabee, uh, the Maccabeans said it all, man. It's this, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a war before us, man. Let's, let's, let me try to get that. Yeah. So I found that it's first Maccabees four and 17, but, uh, in, in this, uh, Leading up to that, that verse, they pursued a host of heathens, and they had slaughtered them, okay, and it, it's, it could be pretty much looked at the same way with this, uh, this verdict handed out by the courts, okay, and, um, just because you, you slew, okay, the heathen that you were pursuing, See, Jay, Jay go back to sleep, but this is why I want to bring this out, because he said, Judas said something that was uh, uh, profound at that time, okay? So when you read 1 Maccabees 4 and 17, it says, This done, Judas returned again with his host from pursuing them. And said to the people, be not greedy of the spoils, and as much as there is a battle before us. Okay? So they think that just because uh, 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 they got said person into, uh, uh, into prison, or a guilty uh, verdict was passed along to that person, that the, the war is over. It's not. Okay, because when you read Revelations 12 and 12, 
you know that these people are about to come down with great wrath. And you can see it. You can you can hear it in the voice of Alex Jones and the other Edomite that was speaking. Okay. And uh, our people got to get ready, man. And the only way you're going to get ready is through, you know, the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. No gun is going to save you. None of that is going to going to be your help. Your own arm is not going to be the help in that day. Okay. It's going to be strictly about prayer and calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, Abar Babar, Kwam Yasharala, and Shalom.